Oh, 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 From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Morris. Unloads to the right. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it in. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And how about this call and excellent timing between the quarterback and running back on the angle route. And how nice is it, Reese, on offense to have running backs that can catch the football, right? In these types of situations, on third down, they can help your drives continue. They can give another element to this offense that defense has to worry about. This running back really is a weapon. The Dukes have it with a first and ten. From the gun, running back gets to give. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Running back searching for a hole. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. Now on third down for this offense. To the ground to try to pick up the fight. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And he missed it. No good. After the miss, the lead is still four. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Dropping back, it's Morris. Throws to the wideout. 
Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. And the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page on that last play. Timing has got to be so critical, especially when you're throwing the perimeter of the field. They just didn't have it there. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Quarterback checking off. On third down, he drops to throw. He uncorks a bullet to the right. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And the Dukes are on the move. The give to the back. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with the pickup of four. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. On second down, looking again to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Hudson. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. If they don't pick up this third down, let's see if they trust their field goal kicker after the miss on the last drive. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He'll pull it down. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, that used to just drive me nuts. I couldn't stand that. The quarterback drops back, pass, scrambles around. You got me chasing you all over the field, getting close to the sideline. Stay in bounds. Please stay in bounds. Let me get a little bit of a reward for all my running so I can just put some kind of hit on him. Nope. Steps out of bounds. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Back to the ground with the running back. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. And that looked like an easy decision for the quarterback. Hand it off, give him the ball, let him get five-plus yards. Nice decision, nice job by the running back getting the yardage. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And the field goal unit is on the field. Field goal is good. They go to the draw. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Wants to throw, it's Morris. Got him downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Good timing on the quick out. He finally goes out of bounds, but you better check that one be on the field. Oh, So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense set for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. A little screen to the running back. 
They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Okay, he can beat him. Takes it from the gun on third down. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hatch. No good. After that fail. Thanks, Stuart. Off the play fake on first down. Feeling some heat. Hit as he throws. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Using his feet to buy time. He'll let it go down the right side. And it's picked off. Got the room to run. A really good return after the interception puts them in business at the 29. Nothing I can do about it. To the air on first down. It's complete to the right. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Back to throw. It's Morris. Quickly out to the tight end. At midfield, he's got room. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Got his man out of the backfield. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. Got it in the middle. It's Hudson. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. The Dukes are marching down the field. It's a draw. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run play action. Catch in the middle, it's Hudson. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. I love when you sell the run like that quarterback did right there. Stuck it in the belly of the running back, pulls it out, runs the play action. Great job of confusing the defense a little bit, making them honor the run, and then throwing the ball in the lanes right behind him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Discards a man. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. If this offense wants to stay in this game, they have to punch it in on this drive. It's third and goal. We've reached the end of the quarter, guys, and Southern Mississippi has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more 
period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Okay. They love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Dukes! Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? From the gun, the running back has it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Looking for a man, it's Morris. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And the Dukes will punt it away on fourth down. Getting our first look of the afternoon yes. at the punter. He's brought down, but there's also a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, the, Roughing the, kicker. the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. They'll throw it on first down. Swings it out to his running back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll line up for a second down play. assault continues he's got his man no chance to run but still a solid pickup on that one line is set on third down they'll try to get it through the air caught close to the marker it's Hudson and the defense makes the immediate tackle but he has enough for the first down well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting the first pass. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell. Maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small game, but some information you gathered maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Getting some heat. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. And come on now, O-line. You've got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Dukes send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he allowed to lock them up close to their goal line. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Dropping back, it's Morris. Got his man downfield. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And the Dukes are flying down the field. They'll leave it with him. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Forget the running game stuff. We play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. Interesting call here for the head coach, too, because you need a touchdown. Now it's fourth and long. You could kick the field goal and cut into the lead, but it depends on how much you trust your defense right now. They may go for this one. And they get to him and sack the quarterback. Well, after back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge Lost of the game. Got a, I made some crucial mistakes in this game. As hard as that is to do right now, passes, man. Because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball. Just so for this game, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.